Hey, welcome to Kid Nation Extra, your Friday edition. Tough to concentrate because I keep staring at Cheetos. Mm. I know, right? Right there, right? Freaking in front of me. Yeah. Cheetos, chips, beer, snacks. Wine glasses. Oh, all sorts. How am I supposed to concentrate on life? Right. When this is staring right at my face. Well, have some. Why are you wearing glasses? Because right? I got a free pair of glasses. I'll have some oh, more. Really? Will, you open, will you open one up? I you just, pick. I just keep getting stuff, which is a lot of fun. Actually. Today's a good day. I know, right? Today we got uh, all sorts of gifts. And we do appreciate it. Started out this morning with donuts, I assume, from the intern. Yeah, she always brings us donuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what happened? You Every Friday you used to bring us breakfast. I don't now. have to anymore. You oh, the ball. Yeah, Breaking news. To. Today it was Shannon who brought the, the donuts. Oh, well, my bad. Hello. Thank you. Thank I'm you, staying Psycho away Shannon. from the sugar. <laughs> and then but, Jenna brought us presents. Yeah. We got yeah. punching bags with our faces on. Them. She got us some dang. And some dang. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I keep wondering what happened to dang, Daniel. What happened to Daniel? Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. I don't know. Look it up. I wonder what Daniel's been up to. Is he? I Google it. Last I heard was a Vans. He, now, if you don't know who this is, these kids went viral a oh, couple yeah. years ago because <laughs> best friends, one of them would tape the other one. Every day and go, damn, Daniel. Like whatever he was wearing. Back at it again with the white Vans and whatever yeah. he was wearing. So he was always looking right. Uh, Vans ended up giving him uh, free shoes for life. Jealous. Yeah. And last I heard from Daniel was that he ended up taking the shoes that he would have been given for his lifetime. Yeah. And he donated them back to kids in need. That's nice. Oh, That's what nice. I heard he did Daniel. with the shoes. I damn, mean, I would have Daniel. Taken a pair. I'm sure he took sure a he pair, but he he's like, no, I'll, what why not give back? Whatever happened to damn Daniel? Because I always hope that that kid turns out to be a really good businessman and makes a lot of money because so. the he fact that so he nice. did that, it means that if he gets a lot of money, he's yeah. going to do good for the world. Like if he becomes an Elon Musk type guy. Right. Minus smoking right. weed on Joe Rogan's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Even though that was a funny podcast, if you didn't check it out. I I, the most recent thing is from 2016. Uh, so, so we're two well, years removed from Daniel. We'll do this, Kelly. Just type in whatever happened to and tell me who the first person is that pops oh, up. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Wouldn't it be different for every computer based on our cookies or something? Um, baby Jane. I don't know. Whatever I'll do two. happened what? to Baby Jane. Happened. The movie. Then Robot Jones. Then <laughs> Josh Hamilton. Rudy Koss. Robot Jones. Mine's whatever happened to Brendan <laughs> Fraser. Ross Perot. The Man of Tomorrow, Monday, The Caped Crusader, Marilyn Barnett, and Susan Boyle. Hmm. I have Googled none of those things, so I don't yeah. know why those would pop up. Whatever happened to Susan Boyle? She's still singing, isn't she? Is she now simmering? <laughs> 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 That's pretty funny, JC. Yeah, mine's kind of oh. similar to yours, Kelly. I got yeah, Baby Boyle. Jane, Robot Jones, Josh Hamilton. Um, I also wonder what happened to that Ted Williams, the Golden Voice homeless guy. I'll type mm. it in. Ted Williams. I know these are things Second Google voice. could answer for me, but I, I seem to think about these things usually in the shower. And then I don't do it when I get out. I love the memes that are like, I'm going to go to sleep early tonight. Me at 3 a.m. Googling. <laughs> How tall is Jesus? <laughs> Like, you just oh, wow. think about things in the middle of the night that you're like, I'm going to Google this. Do we know how tall time. Jesus was? I think they have to do estimations Not based on how tall people were at that time. Well, you can't throw out. Googling things that you, can't even, that you don't even know and that don't even really matter. <laughs> I think Jesus, I would, if I were to guess, back in the day, they were I really short. Small. Probably about, I'd say 5'4". No. Yeah, Jesus no. is probably 5'4". Yeah. I'd go at least 5'7". Five, 5'7", seven. Five, seven, no, that's r- giant back in the day. I bet Back you in the day that was giant. Well, I bet you Goliath pretty giant. Goliath was probably six foot. Oh, he's taller. But now. David was probably yeah, only taller. like five. Goliath was taller. Yeah, no, Goliath was like, was he's like six a foot. Good six, 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 eight. Oh, no way. I think you're right, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't. You couldn't survive back then being that tall. How could you not survive? Like, because because you couldn't get enough food. Clothes. We've gotten so much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? You couldn't get enough food. Back then, the, the portions were smaller. It was tougher. People were poor. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was, was conservatives, keto. too. We weren't. We yeah. weren't. Yeah. People it, were small. We went and killed a bear or something and ate it. Yeah, he's, he's Goliath. Yeah, but bears were little back then, too. You don't, you're all talking about <laughs> stuff we have no idea. Oh, my God. We're all just guessing. We don't know. Do you ever have those dumb arguments at home? Yes. Like, Kenzie and I always no, get I live alone. dumb I've arguments. had horribly mean arguments over hypothetical situations. Yeah. Give us one. Like, what would you do if you won the lottery? 
and told but, you but the that money. Developed into an argument. Argument because I thought their answer was completely selfish. <laughs> I mean, there's no wrong answer. What did Alan want to do? do? Buy another? Um, buy it another... wasn't Alan. Oh, okay. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell anyone if I won the lottery, unless we went in on it together. Yeah. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't tell anyone. Well, you say that. It'd it's be you hard. Can't help it. Oh yeah. I'm, no. a, I'm assuming somebody won that 548. Uh, Not yet. No, we would know about that. Oh, it's it's oh it's tomorrow probably right. Yeah. Uh, I, I went by the billboard this morning and it was still there. Well, one's Tuesday, Friday. One's Wednesday, Saturday. Uh huh. Powerball's okay. Okay, Wednesday, Saturday. Okay. Mega Millions is Tuesday, Friday. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm a, I'll buy a ticket. Yeah, I'll buy a ticket. That's worth it. For a five forty eight million? Yeah. And then if I won the lottery, I'm gonna invest all my money to figure out how tall David and Goliath were. Well, Google it. Because they're wrong. Yeah. They I do need estimations to... based on bones and stuff, yeah. right? I need, I need scientific evidence. And for... the way houses were you know they have like Yeah, like, how the, short the, Yeah. Oh, remember when we were in Mexico and we went to the Mayan temples? Yeah. And how little the doors Very were? Small. Because they were about four foot three, four foot four. Yeah. Because there were tiny people back then. So their yeah. Mayans were still tiny. How tall yeah. was Goliath? His height was six cubits and a span. Six a cubit foot. is the, <laughs> el- this is according to the Bible. A cubit is from the elbow to the end of the fingertips. And a span is if you spread your fingers. So that would be the little finger to the thumb. Oh. So he was six of these? So six cubits. By six foot? And a span. Because they say your foot size is about the size of your forearm. So he's about six. An elbow foot. to the tip of your fingers. So that's more than a foot. Yeah, maybe he's like six five. No, that's way more, dude. Come on, that's almost two feet. That's from. So that means. So he's about nine feet tall. That's nine, impossible. Nine, nine feet tall. It's a tall tail. That's a tall David. I mean Goliath. See, now I'm all into that. It said his exact height was not given, but he was a head taller than everyone else in all the land. I don't and know. they didn't have that app on, like you can get on your iPhone. Just oh, the measurement on. app. Yeah, yeah. Have you used it? I, no, I haven't. Yeah. Used it. I did. I said to Kenzie. <laughs> you sent the picture or the the measurement? Well, it it takes the you, picture. It, doesn't it? it doesn't show the measurement unless it's in the picture. And you sent that? That's out there. Well, not out there because you. Oh, it's out there. If you airdrop it's it, it's in the cloud. I feel like it just goes. Pshh. No, it's out there. And then I made. We both had to delete it. Oh. oh, that takes care of it. I even went into the trash can and everything. You, you know, if you delete a picture, it's in your trash can. People could still go find yeah. it. A dude got caught cheating, by the way, because of that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Thought he had deleted it. Uh-huh. He got caught, caught. He got su- That's like caught, caught, caught. That's triple caught. Yeah. Let's go to the question of the day. Come on. Rylan wrote us and said, help. I need some new music recommendations. I go for Ed Sheeran and Drake vibes, but I have played everything out. Hmm. Oh. I'm really into Big Baby right now. Bad. Bad. You're into what? Uh, uh Baby. What, little Baby? Bad Baby? No, not Bad Baby. Yes, yes. I don't like. I I mean, her music's okay, but I guess. Um, what is and what do they like? Drake and Ed Sheeran. Mm. They like those kind of vibes. So I mean, that that makes it open to basically anything, I guess, and what's going on in music right now. I love Odessa. I think you'd really like Odessa. They're very like listenable. Yeah. Kind of like electronic, but pop. DJs like there's drums and there's horns and I love it. They're headlining ACL. I saw them last week. I'm gonna see them again tomorrow. Actually, ooh, I like Juice World. Juice World right now is really really cool. Juice World, yeah. How, how's that song go? Uh, the lucid dreams. Lucid song? dreams. Lucid dreams. I have these lucid got dreams you. that I don't think a thing. That one, but he's got a couple other good ones. Um, he sounds a lot like that guy that sings the one eight hundred song. Like Logic? Yeah, to me. To that you? Lucid Dream song sounds a lot like Logic to me. Because okay, it's kind of dark. It's a dark song. Logic's actually a good one if you haven't gotten into it. His new album's really good. Yeah. Uh, NF is cool if you haven't gotten into that. Bryce Vine, if you're into Drake vibes. We talked about Bryce Vine a, a, a couple days ago. He's very kind of Drake, but more alternative. A little more rock edge to him. Okay. Who else am I getting down with? I'm, I'm, I like one of Kelly's favorites, Sugarland. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with Sugarland. Kelly hates Sugarland. I do not. That yeah. is not at all what I said. I said I just thought Taylor Swift could have picked somebody a bit bigger for her bigger, final show. bigger punch for well, her last U- show of her U.S. tour. You can ask them on Monday because we're going to have Sugarland in studio. They heard not. about you talking about them. I'm not alone in that opinion either. I'm, I'm not just, alone in that opinion. I'm just kidding. They're not coming in. But I'm I wonder if they did hear that. It. What if we played the audio? I, 
I always wondered what would happen if Nickelback came in when Kid was giving Nickelback like the Chad would have been fine. Time. I don't know. I think for a while it. they probably had their feelings hurt, but now they've embraced it. Yeah. yeah. I Chad, think at first they weren't happy with it though. Chad is Chad Kroger, as much as he got made fun of, is one of the nicest artists I have ever met in my life. Really? And I met him when he was in the at the top of getting made fun of. Mm-hmm. And then Jenna made him out and this was an interview. Jenna made him out in public and he was still super nice. I went and hung out in his hotel room with a best girlfriend of mine. See? He was so nice. One of the nicest people. He drank wine, and I asked him if he ever heard of our show, and he said no. I was trying to gauge if he had heard us make fun. Ah. No, nope, not even on his radar. And now he's single again, right? Him and uh, Avril are divorced. That's what I heard. Yeah. So he's out there for the ladies. Anyways, if you want to be the question <laughs> of the day, go ahead and put it right down there in the comment section. We'll be back next week with more Beat the Bank Extreme. Extreme. Hopefully we're getting down to we're more than halfway done with all the vaults. So yeah. your 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 shot to win that ten thousand dollars is getting much better. What else did we have coming up next week? Oh, the sounds, the spirits that are haunting my yes. car. We're gonna find out what the actual audio sounds like. And well, what it is, what it means. I don't know. What yeah. we're gonna find out. We're gonna talk to the ghost hunter next week. Russell Rush said he heard more than he's ever heard before. Yeah. And uh, Kelly's got something for us on Monday morning. Big surprise. A big surprise from Kelly. Very Be- excited. Beginning of the show? Is that is that very what? beginning? I'm just gonna blurt it out. Okay. But we are gonna probably talk about it throughout the show. Or we can bring well, it back I up mean, if you're missing. Yeah, you miss bring it Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got that coming up. Have a wonderful weekend, Kid Nation. We'll see you on Monday. Bye.